Hi guys, I'm gonna show you a couple pieces that I picked up over the last few months. Uh, for instance, the Carly Bible collection, uh, the holiday collection, uh, some from Opali and some from Shopo. So let's get straight into it. So like you guys can see, there are some beautiful sequins in there, diamantes, lace, a little latex number and a beautiful coat. Let's get into it. This is the beautiful evening star dress from Shopo. I got it in a size extra small, so that's US size 2, UK size 6, uh, European size 34. Uh, it was a little small around the bust area, but the waist was very nice. I could have gone a little bit smaller with the waist, but I have to keep my bust also in check. Uh, but yeah, I love this one. The first thing I did was iron it. Uh, you can wash it on 30 degrees, so it's safe to wash, don't worry. But yeah. So this is the big baller play suit from Shopo also. Uh, I also got it in a size extra small. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you have bigger boobs, because there it is very open. Uh, it was long enough for me, but I'm only 5 foot, so that's uh, 152 centimeters. But yeah, I'm very small, but it fit me, so that was great. This is the Unclyde Shine Vanille dress. Uh, I got it in a size 8. I've better gotten a size 10, because when I sit down a little zipper at the beginning, it's uh, ripped a little, uh, because of my big butt. Uh, I really love this. I really look like a bombshell in this thing. Damn. Uh, if you have like an hourglass figure, definitely buy this one. It's definitely worth the splurge. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, the boob area was okay. It couldn't have gotten a little bit bigger, but the waist, god damn. I love this freaking dress. I would definitely buy the other color too. So yeah. So next we have this nude suede coat in uh, a size medium. Uh, I love this one, it's really soft, it's warm, it comes down to my ankles. Like I said, I'm small, I'm only 5 feet. Uh, so it's it cannot hit the ground. Uh, you also see it has some pockets, but they're sewn from the outside. They're a little stitching, I cut open the stitch, you don't wreck anything with it. Because then you can only like get in the pockets, otherwise you have fake pockets, like they say. Uh, you can also like get this really around you, like tie it up, like so. And yeah, it's just nice and soft and fluffy and warm and I want all colors of this one, to be honest. So now, this sparkly, awesome jumpsuit. I got this in a European size 32, a UK size 4, a US size 0. Um, my bust is 37 inches, my waist is 23 and a half, 24 inches, it depends on if I've eaten or not. <laughs> my hips are 39 inches, like I'm an hourglass figure, and really this is awesome. But it's also very tiny, at, um, like it's small. It has a very short, um, how should I say, it's short, uh, because like I'm 5 feet and literally, come on, it fits like a glove, it's actually a little too small, I can't bend over because of the straps, so yeah, I also paired it with a bra here, because the previous one was without a bra, but yeah, it gives you a little bit more oomph, like, uh, I like them both, I don't really need it, uh, but yeah, it's also great for hourglass pairs, also beautifully, like, I love this, but some diamantes came loose already, so I have to fix that, but yeah, this is really, really great. And so next up, we have this beautiful dress, uh, also a couple came loose, but yeah, I got this also in the same size, so that's a US size 0, a European size 32, and a UK size 4. Also beautifully, um, it's a little tight around the bust area. The hips definitely fine, 
but the bust it's really small back there uh, also the band I would love when it was more like on my waist not so much underneath my boobs because then it would it would look nicer in my in my opinion but yeah I love it it's great great quality although some came loose but still very nice very high price actually that's the only down point of this one yeah also like you see uh, one came loose and I did not have one at the sleeve so yeah that was a big bummer but yeah no help it also has a little panel underneath so you're all covered girl you got this so great So with a couple of these pieces, you really have to work with it. Like for instance, the uh, the Shopo play suit uh, with the deep V, I put in some fashion tape. I don't know if you can use regular tape and like do it two sides, but this is the fashion tape. It's like an inch wide. I actually love this size because it can really cover a lot, so you don't need a lot with this. Uh, also with the latex dress, uh, I don't like you knowing what I wear underneath, but we're girls, we all have the struggle, we gotta keep doing this. So I got one of these things, it's uh, a sea thong. You might think like what the hell is this thing, but well, actually it's genius. Really, it saved me from a lot of like dress malfunctions during the years. Um, for you who think that this does not stick, well, it will. I don't know how. I don't know how science thingy is behind this, but it will stick. It will not stick just like up there. Um, so I put this underneath the the latex suit, the or the burnt orange one, and the um, curly bible misguided jumpsuit. Because you don't want those nasty little strings at the side or those big granny panties. I know you. Some people put um, the tie high uh, underwear, like a beige tie high underwear, underneath the jumpsuit. Uh, but if you're more like a tongue girl, damn, this is something great. Actually, you don't feel it. It's really comfortable. Um, I got this from, I think, AliExpress a couple years ago. But now I'm looking for a beige one because you can see this a very tiny bit. But if you have the black play black jumpsuit, then this is perfect. Uh, also for the black uh, jumpsuit. Nude, the jumpsuit that you have in nude and black. <laughs> I'm rambling. Um, also for the jumpsuit, uh, I first I wore it without a bra. I feel comfortable with it. Looks good for me. Uh, but if you want to do have that little oomph, uh, you also have like a sticky bra. This one is a size C. Because if you get, your, well, I noticed that if you get your regular size, um, then it gets, I don't know, after a couple hours, the stickiness loses its, yeah, its hold. And um, then you can feel it getting, like, underneath there. So if you go, like, one size smaller, then you have actually where you want it to be covered. And where you actually want the support. So that's what I use. Uh, also, you get these little baggies with extra rhinestones with um, the Carly Bible collection. Really handy because, like you saw, uh, this diamante uh, one broke. Um, like during the wash and uh, I did not have one on my right sleeve so I have to put this on I'm gonna like 
uh, glue them also on there because I don't want to lose a lot because I wash them in like a thingy like this so you cannot really any nothing can go through there like except water but I lost a lot of like wait let me get this see I lost like a big one of this, like a triangle, there's also a square one there, and a lot of the sequin. So now I have to go look where they come from. Also a couple of the regular stones, like the very small ones. Yeah. Also the very small ones, they came off, so now I have to... Look where they came loose, fix them, maybe get them like a little more tighter on there. I don't know. I have to fix that because it's a beautiful piece. Both of them are. So that's a struggle with with these things. So that's it. So guys, that was everything. I only had a couple pieces. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you want me to do uh, like how I keep my clothes fresh because I already noticed that you cannot really wash the pieces or that it's very difficult to wash them. But I can. But uh, I have a technique to keep them fresh. So if you want to know what it is, then subscribe down below, and let me know in the description bar. Okay, bye guys.